What we have over here is a, a, a micro survival slash fishing kit. Um, it's really kind of designed to kind of replace uh, this more sort of kind of comprehensive uh, fishing uh, slash um, food gathering kit that I have over here. And if you haven't seen uh, this review before, click here to, to kind of check it out. Um, but you know, the kind of big difference between uh, this little micro fishing kit um, over here, which is fairly comprehensive, and this one over here is that you know, uh, these ones over here have you know things like the um, auto fishing reels or mechanical fishing reels. And if you haven't checked these out or you haven't played with these before, these are a must have, I think, items uh, to have in your food gathering survival click. So, uh, free feel to click here check out the auto fishes free feel free to click here uh, to check out the review of the actual container so on this one over here uh, really quickly um, basically this one over here is really kind of about fishing and you can have snare wire and that's a really cool product so check that review if you want to but back onto this um, yeah look uh, it's uh, it'd be great if you guys could uh, give us some feedback in in regards to uh, uh, this particular item um, he hasn't sort of kind of finalized I guess what it's going to look like and uh, yeah your your comments are certainly appreciated uh, but let's start over here um, this little item over here is uh, you know I think a, a nice little combination kit and uh, in my opinion it's pretty logical and makes sense I think there's a couple of things that are missing from it but uh, I, I'd you know be interested to get your um, your feedback on that so to start off with uh, there's a little case over here and the ca this case is really uh, really really well constructed it's got a thick element to it and a kind of thinner side to it, uh, which is nice. So it's going to break into a kind of thin area here and a thick area over here. So uh, you know, it creates some sort of nice organisational uh, compartments. Um, you know, the item is only basically four and a half inches in, in width or 11 centimetres and basically about sort of kind of, um, you know, three, uh, three and a half inches and, or about 90 millimetres and uh, about, roughly about an inch deep or 25 millimetres. So, you know, this is a really easy lightweight item. You know, you can easily put it into your, your back pocket uh, without uh, any much hassle. Uh, it's really very, very light. So, uh, you know, for what it is, it's, uh, it's extremely sort of micronized, well organized and, and sort of kind of fairly comprehensive. So uh, anyway, before I sort of dive into the actual box itself, um, he starts off um, by providing us with this kind of, um, you know, uh, solar uh, torch over here. So um, this one is uh, actually, it's a really nice uh, bit of kit over here. Um, it's got basically a highly well, well constructed sort of carabiner kind of clip system. Um, it relies on uh, obviously solar energy, so you, uh, you're not reliant on, on batteries and such like that. Um, the lenses at the front are, are reasonable. Um, it probably gives you about roughly, um, you know, 10 uh, luminances all around that anyway. Eight to 10 is probably a, a fair range over there. And uh, quite a nice little torch. So it's, it's good to have something that, you know, uh, is light, easy to carry. You can clip it onto your backpack or you can keep it on over here. And, uh, you know, just that, la you know, I guess that removal of reliance on, on, on batteries in an outdoor situation or survival situation is, is, is really very um, important. So let's look at the actual fishing kit and case itself. Um, the case opens up and uh, effectively it's kind of broken up into two sides. One is your kind of food gathering side uh, on, on, on the right over here. And, and he starts off by basically providing us with uh, kind of three loads of, um, of uh, fishing uh, line going from really kind of heavy gauge fishing line over here and you roughly go about 20 to 30 metres on, on each one of these spools to the really lightweight one so which has got about 50 metres and, and this medium one here is about 30 metres give or take and then moves on kind of very quickly um, to you know provide us with a range of kind of smaller hooks over here like that and uh, small hooks are important to have because you know you can catch big fish with small hooks uh, but you can't catch small fish with big hooks, so you know it's a good starting place, definitely. And then sort of moves on to provides us with, you know, medium-sized hooks, then into the larger ones. Now, uh, in regards to weights and stuff like that, he's very, very cleverly kind of chosen. Uh, these um, clippable, um, basically leaded ball pallets, and uh, the, the reason why these are, are good from a survival situation is that not only are they easy to utilise and apply, but uh, if you've got a sling or you know a ranger band, um, then you can use them as shot within that, and that sort of makes a lot of sense from there. Um, so you know yeah, you can put more shot in there too, which is great. Now saying that, uh, he's given us a little bit more on you know the smaller, basically lead weights, uh, but you know really I think. Uh, there is sufficient turn right. Um, really, what I like about this system over here is the redundancy that's being um, uh, um, 
provided uh, on the fire lighting as well as the torch light side. So uh, as you had seen before, you'd already given us a torch that wasn't reliant on batteries, that solar torch over there. Um, and um, yeah, so I'll go back to the torches, but uh, I'll touch on the fire lighting stuff over here. And he's given us a, a four inch ferrocerium rod, which will really kind of, you know, last us a day and a bit. Uh, to complement that, uh, because you always need a bit of you know, dry kindling to, to you know, help that, uh, that spark yarn. He's also provided us um, with some um, twine over here, just some natural twine that you can sort of break up off and, and you can make that into the, that kind of kindling, which is important. And he's given us another flame source as well, so instead of a spark, he's given us a flame and it's very handy to have that big lighter. Um, this Durex over there is uh, this latex uh, condom is, is kind of really um, a, a backup as a kind of water carrying source. Um, so that's kind of handy to have, but you know, obviously you, you'd want your, your own steel canteen along with you. What this kit doesn't come with um, is, is a knife. Um, so if you, um, it's really kind of expected that, you know, you would most likely carry this kit in your pocket like that. And you'd have your own sort of you know, belt clip knife or a, or a uh, folding knife that um, you would take along with that. And in that case, you know, this becomes more comprehensive, more comprehensive survival slash fishing kit. Uh, what he's also included over here is a uh, button uh, navigation compass, which is handy because obviously if you need to get some directions, that's kind of good. And uh, obviously a thermometer too, which I, I think that um, you know most people sort of kind of uh, understate. So when you're out there and you're you know becoming fatigued, as an example, you know having an idea of the actual air and ambient temperature is, is is really good because sometimes you know you may think the climate's a lot colder, and that's just you kind of your body kind of running down. So it's nice to have a gauge of what's a, you know what is the real temperature around you. In regards to lighting, uh, he's provided us actually two actually additional sources of lighting, starting with this really high-powered micro light. Um, this micro light uh, is amazing. Um, basically, it's 18 lumens. Uh, it's got three little batteries in here that will last up to 50 hours. So that's a really long run time, uh, considering the power output on that. And it's got a 2.3 four meter throw so this little thing will you know light up an area quite considerably so that's a that's a great little torch to have but i'd kind of would leave that in reserve unless you needed to use it and i would be more reliant on obviously the solar torch until you really needed it now in regards to signaling um he's provided us um another whistle uh, this, sorry, a whistle, um, and there's a lot of whistles out there um, on the market, and uh, you know, th there's only sort of two whistles in my opinion that work really well. One is the jet scream whistle, and this whistle over here. This is just a little tin flute whistle, and it's got a really, really high pitch. So um, you know, you find that some of those you know water-based ones with you know the double flutes and them and stuff like that, they just don't seem to have that higher peak. Um, I, I, in my opinion, I, you know, this is probably one of the cheaper but more effective whistles on the market bar the jet screen the jet screen is certainly the probably best whistle that you can get and um, then also what he's provided um, is basically this little uh, three-in-one lighting system where not only uh, do you get a laser light and uh, if you are verbally uh, or vocally incapacitated this actually can be used as a signaling device as well so uh, that little laser will run up to about 50 meters so it's quite a powerful little item I'm, I'm really kind of surprised at it um, saying that, yeah, there's actually a torch light or two torch lights there. That's a UV version, and then you've got a natural uh, or normal light version there. So you really kind of got three sources of lighting, um, you know. And I, I think that's a, a really kind of clever little inclusion uh, to be in part of the survival kit. Um, I think what's probably missing from this, to be fair, is is you know maybe um, some chlorinated tablets or some some iodine tablets for for water purifications. And I think you'd probably find room to fit that into the system so guys look um if you uh, uh like uh this this fishing kit uh look uh let him know um he's very interested in in i guess you know determining if, if you know this is a good product or not and he would really like to get your feedback 